Hey guys, Omega Rapper here talking about one popular thing that I like. Or pff, one thing that I talk about most on my channel. Mega Man X Command Mission. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite games. And here are a couple of reasons why. Probably, possibly more. So this video might or might not be long. If you don't want to watch a long video, then, well, watch something else then. So. Here we go, talking about Mega Man X Command Mission and why I enjoy the game. Um, these will be, in my opinion, there will probably be some misconfu- or some confusion. Because I do not do well with words. Um, but that's for another day of why I suck at my grammar and here and are a couple reasons why I like Mega Man X Command Mission. Mega Man X Command Mission has been a game that I've always wanted to play. When I first noticed it at Game Doctors when I bought Mega Man X5, I could never find that game ever again until a friend of mine taught me a nice little trick. I mean, you guys probably know what, but I don't intend to be casual, so I'm just being hush hush now. Um, but, like I said, or, sorry, I'm gonna do well with words. Um, Command Mission has one of my favorite elements, and one of my favorite types of games. That is role-playing, or RPG for short. It's similar to Final Fantasy, Pokemon, Super Mario RPG, Legend of Zelda, not really, but Legend of Zelda is considered an RPG and so forth like or sorry i was got the way there um command mission was work on the development team who made magmatic 7 and breath of fire which is not related to legend of zelda breath of the wild the same um but despite all of the weird stuff that had happened in development and I really wish I would work on the paper but no after another day let's get on to one of the um one of the important things of the game. Magman X command mission supposedly takes place a couple years after Magman X eight. So this probably proves that X was a bit better after what happened in X eight. Who knows? But with that bit of side detail off to the side, um, command mission starts off with X Zero and the new hunter Shadow on a mission to stop Epsilon. Well, it turns out that Shadow was ordered to betray X Zero, separating X and Zero from each other. X was found badly injured at Giga City your hub world or air city or whatever you want to call it um so the person who found X told him that he was found badly injured so he could see how much pain he had when he fell off the building which don't do that kids um being informed that the chief that the commander of the town chief R or of the resistance chief R has been kidnapped, X was out to re rescue him from the rebellion army, um, well not cadre, but pawn, if you will, while Django. Um, so, X went out to save R when he met a mysterious replay named Ale. Ale said that, um, he is he is a close friend to Chief R, and he requested X to save him. But some rebellion army mavericks appeared. So, L told X to go save Chief R, and that he, a replicate who cannot fight and looks really hurt, since he's in a wheelchair, but doesn't mean he's not hurt, he, he dealt with the mavericks, sacrificing himself. So X goes on to save R, which I'm going to actually put that bit right there. 
Mega Man X Command Mission has a variety of characters for your protagonist. Seven, to be exact. Not really a variety if you ask someone who plays like Super Smash Bros, um, Pokemon, but it's a variety of Mega Man X characters. There are about um, six, or sorry, four, four char new characters? I don't know, I can't count. <laughs> Um, for your protagonists, there's X, Zero, Axel, Masmo, Spider, Cinnamon, and Marna. Each character has their own personalities and their own weapon classes. To kind of shorten down the whole explanation, there are either melee characters or long range characters. The melee characters being Marno, depends on the weapon you have for her, Cinnamon, Zero, and even um, Massimo, or X in this hyper mode, hyper fire, or ultimate arm, or X. And the long range characters are Axel, X, and Spider, and Marno, depending on the weapon you have for her. Each character has their own hyper mode and acting trigger. Those, for, those, on um, the characters that, the hyper modes and triggers, acting triggers, and chronological order in which they have appeared and when you met them. Our X having two arm hyper modes, the ultimate armor and hyper fire modes have that. My friend there is X has two hyper, hyper modes, ultimate armor and hyper fire. Um, X, regular X and hyper fire X has a, have the same action trigger. And this is actually not a review, so you really need to know about that. Like I said, the characters have their own personalities. And some of them are funny, some of them are not. Some of the funny ones that I really enjoy are Botos, X, well not X, but Axel, Marno, Cinnamon, and the list goes on. Some of the characters you think are going to be like, I'm going to kill you, mwahaha. But plot twist, they're really stupid. Botos is a good example. I used to hate this character with a burning passion. But then when I played the game and watched the cutscene, I got a good laugh out of him. Because he was a clown, literally. Maybe he should wear so much armor. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, but Botos sounds like a Texan, or like, a character trying to personate a Texan, but it's doing horribly, or really badly, badly. Um, each, well not each, but most characters have their own theme. The one that's currently playing is, um, uh, they call me Botos. I am playing it off my TV, duh. Um, I swear some of the themes remind me of different stuff. Like this reminds me off of reminds me of Wipeout. Or something off of Soul Eater. Really. I can't get enough of that really stupid song that sounds a bit like Wipeout. For once Capcom has actually gotten some good voice actors for the Mega Man X game. For this Mega Man X game, along with X8 and Maverick and Rex. Um, instead of X and like a freaking female, which I have heard most of my friends complain about, or X sounding so whiny, they probably got a good voice actor for X. Mark Gotha voices X. He is from Canada, I believe, and I'm not gonna say anything more. Um, Lucas Gilberson does the voice of Zero. A lot of you might know that I fan girl Lucas Gilberson. Because he sounds so awesome. He has his own YouTube channel and, well, let's just say I got lucky with Lucas Gilberton, who replied to one of my comments, which the comment and the reply are a bit silly. Um, I'll actually link the video that I commented on along with his YouTube channel, which should be on the video I commented on. Duh. Um, Axel sounds like a male, but I don't remember the other voice actor's names. Um, but various 
There will be some characters you will he hear from other series, such as the Buddy Buddy Card Fight or Dragon Ball Z. So, good luck trying to identify all the characters. Don't need it, friends. Um, I do want to talk a bit about the character and bosses. Some of them silly, some of them tough, some of them you all have a bad time with, friend. I really, really like the optional bosses or the bosses you need for 100% completion. There are three optional bosses. Alright, I will spoil only two of them, but I'm not going to say the third one. There is Rustillion and Duck Bill Mole. Duck Bill Mole being the easiest, but being the one that you have to wait a long time to get. And Rustillion, the toughest one to defeat. There are actually four different op- well not optional, but different bosses from the main game that are not actually the Rebellion Army. Well, Duck the Mole, if you claim he is part of Rebellion Army, because you, you know, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, some of the characters are fight- are hard to fight, some of them are not. Like I mentioned, it depends on your play style. So, have fun with that. Have fun trying to beat all bosses. Especially the blast boss, because he's level 90 from 99, the highest level you can get in the game. And other games, too. The main part of the game that I really enjoy, I'm not sure if part of this, is the music. I love the music. I love to think of the other songs that the music resembles. Like I said, I Am Botus resembles the Wipe Hat theme, but Epsilon, first movement, sounds like Impatient from Xenoblade Chronicles. It's a really catchy tune. There's also another song, but I'm not going to spoil it. But with the music, um, well, not compilation, but um, complementary side. Each character has their own different theme. From Epsilon to Second Moving to I Am Botus to They Call Me Axel or It's Me Axel to Stand By Zero and so forth. The main title theme, which the theme that plays when you're on the um, introduction, or not introduction, but um, title screen, is called um, fight X, or, let me actually, yeah, Fight X. To my knowledge, there are, now including the, um, second or third movement theme, there are possibly, like, I don't know, I'm not going to count them all in my head, because I will take all night, but, yeah. And then there is one last thing I want to talk about before I'm done with this video. And that is the endless possibility of items you can get. Um, there are different types of um, sub items, which are not your main weapons, but mainly items you can use to help you know, defeat a boss or an enemy. Loss of weaponry. You can get those from either enemies, buying, or even between bosses or item boxes. Um, depending on the version you play. Whether it's PS2 or GameCube, you can use your um, GBA on the GameCube to use a treasure tracker, kind of like the single treasure tracker. Um, you can get treasure tokens to get using the treasure tracker, or you can get even um, coins, like regular coins. So, good luck trying to get all those stuff if you have a Game Boy. Well, I shall applaud you if you have a Game Boy Advance. But with the with the Game Boy Advance comp or compatibility aside, you can get various items such as the Soul Saver for zero or the um, Human Hunter for Axel. Although you can't get any um, powerful weapons for Spider. I will say good luck.
And for this, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.